G'day. So, here's a bit of a confession and a bit of a talk about freaks. When Jan and I were driving down from Shark Bay, Western Australia, heading south, it was a rainy night, or the road was a bit wet, and there were frogs all over the road, just hopping, 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 and, and luckily there wasn't many cars on the road, but you know, you have to swerve a little bit. And there were these amazing things, so we had to stop and have a draw. And so here's the big confession. That's not what you think, it's not that I flattened any, I was able to swerve around and miss a few. Dangerous driving, but luckily nothing was coming the other way. Confession is that wildlife presenters and myself, we don't know everything. And I'm certainly not a frog expert. I'm sure somebody will put a comment down in this video. Uh, for some people who are the wealth of all knowledge, it's a validation of their existence to leave a comment. And this time I welcome it. Because I'm not quite sure which frogs I have. There's one I know must be the Western Spotted Frog. So this Western Spotted Frog, from the pictures I have in my frog book, it sort of stands very upright, its shoulders are up, it's almost like it's back at a 45 degree angle. It's got a big head, big eyes, cute little guy. So here I am colouring in what I believe is the Western Spotted Frog. But there's another frog here, exactly same coloration, but it's a different body shape. I wonder if this is the moaning frog. In the background I can hear this sort of uh, cooing noise or moaning noise. You listen really carefully and just hear it. So in my, uh, in my journal I've just taken a couple of notes the western spotted frog. The call is a coo repeated slowly. The moaning frog, you can hear a long rising moan repeated slowly. A beautiful somber sound. So am I looking at the western spotted frog and hearing the moaning frog? Or am I looking at the moaning frog and hearing the western spotted frog? Or am I looking at both? I don't know. And so that's my big confession. I just don't know. However, it's been fun drawing these guys when they keep still for me. They sort of lull you into this sense of security of, oh, he's going to keep still for me, and I start sketching him, and then he moves away. But all in all, these frogs are gorgeous, and I'm very glad that I didn't have to squash any on the road, although there were a few flattened ones as I drove along. I hope you guys enjoyed this little adventure in art and wildlife, and join me for the next video. See you later.